The undefeated Washington Castles were taking on the New York Sport Times in New York. Mixed doubles up first. Travis Parrott and Martina Hingis against Leander Pays and Serena Williams. Well, a lot of talent on the court for the Castles. Leander Pays on that one could not catch up to that big return from Parrott. And then Parrott serving and Serena in the right position at the net. And then Leander Pays comes up with an unbelievable forehand. Hayes and Williams combined so impressively. An ace to finish it off, and the Castles take it 5-1. Then it was women's singles. Martina and Serena renewing an old rivalry, and this is one of the highlights of the night. Yes, Serena being the hurdler there at the end, having to hop over the net. Fortunately, did not get hurt. Martina Hingis, that trademark backhand down the line for the winner. Williams unable to catch up to that one. And then a nice solid serve from Hingis setting up herself with the miss from Williams to close out her set. Five breaks of serve. Hingis took that one. Men's doubles, Travis Parrott and Jesse Winton taking on Bobby Reynolds and Leander Pays. Some amazing action between these two teams. Yeah, that was the opening point of that set. Two net cores back to back. And then Bobby Reynolds just really making the adjustment coming forward with that swing volley. Big returns and nice ground strokes from Reynolds. And he was really the key in this men's doubles. Uh, he was solid. They took it 5-2. Women's doubles next. Renee Stubbs and Serena Williams. Hengis and Katie O'Brien. Well, Stubbs did a good job finding this ball in the light tonight. Katie O'Brien doing all she could, but then Williams finishing off with a nice swing volley. Another situation where Renee was on the baseline and good movement, good covering of the court from the back there, and wow, Serena, nice volley. Another situation where Stubbs was stellar at the baseline and Serena solid at the net. A little reverse and then Serena of course getting her Dougie on the music in between the points. Castles took the doubles 5-3 and it was up to Bobby Reynolds to try and shut it down for the unbeaten Castles taking on Jesse Witt. Well he started off really aggressive finding himself inside the court. Jesse Witten really trying to push it to the limit. Good defensive play here, but wow, look at that forehand dialed in into the corner. Now he was trying to steer his attack to the wit backhand out of respect for Jesse's forehand. Now here's an, ex an exchange of backhands from the two. Witten finds the net, and Reynolds, he closes it out. He took it in a nine point tiebreaker. That clinched it for the Castles 23 15. They remain unbeaten in the Eastern Conference. Next up for them, the Conference Championship.